issues uh, those ways so unfortunately unfortunately we were nearly the toppers in the school so they wanted us to focus on studies and you know do become an engineer or a doctor or something like that and leave cricket aside because they thought that you know it's really hard to get in it's a lot of struggle they thought that you know we might fall apart we might you know lag behind that you know and, you know that can uh, be a like i would say risk to our career so we left cricket what happens is like most of the times when you leave something which is so close to your heart and still cricket it is it is like, i'm still the biggest fan of i would say mahendra singh dhoni and uh, i really don't uh, tend to miss any match i'm always there on my phone or uh, if i'm at work i'll really watch it so when you like leave something which you really love uh, there are a lot of instances that you know you cannot forget and uh, you just feel that whatever may be the problem and you become too much anxious to solve that problem first because that's the problem that made you leave that thing that you loved most in your life something similar happened with us so now leaving after leaving cricket we were like normal kids going to school in the morning coming back in the afternoon had only one tuition to home tuition to attend we quite free we started watching our various shows or uh, like doremo and jetsons and uh, that's how you know it was a good start for us and we got really fascinated that how come these science fictions come to you know are able to showcase these sort of amazing technologies and what if we could build some so and this was a time wherein we shifted our focus from these cartoons to national geographic discovery channel or all of that and there was a show that used to come that point of time by curiosity by professor stephen hawking and my brother yuvraj was quite fascinated about it we started then reading a lot of books about astrophysics and you know just we were just getting into research this way and we were just getting fascinated every day so we used to go our dad used to take us to this uh, book market that's there in darya ganj every sunday morning you can buy like second hand books there at a very cheaper price so we used to go there get a lot of books to read you know read them out in just one week's time and then go again by the next week this all was happening and you know it was good we were just learning new stuff but uh, like if a fifth class student is reading quantum mechanics you know you can understand that there would be a lot of doubts at this kid's mind so then we started you know approaching a couple of um, people who could mentor us that for the time but uh, i would say unfortunately that point of time there was no such uh, innovation platforms that are being run by country uh, which are being run by country these are like atal innovation mission or innovation cell in mhrd it is not like that anything like was this was uh, like this wasn't before anyway so what we used to do then we uh, whenever we were watching these shows on uh, discovery and national geographic we used to take out names of these people and we used to you know take out the phone numbers take out the skype ids take out their email addresses and we started literally spamming these guys and uh, we just used to ask them that this is where i belong from i cannot afford to come down to you know cambridge to read this but uh, this is something where i'm stuck and i need your help to help me out and uh, i would say after 6 months of time frame the level of doubts actually quite increased the uh, you know and a good standard because now we were our doubts were making senses and then we started getting responses from the people that was a time where in, we got in touch um, with amazing people like robert jubrin of firing air or not it is a very improbable thing we always do research with the mindset that if something is going to come up we don't know we don't know the what's going to be the conclusion we wanted something at the back end to support all of my you know you know at certain cost so we started doing it services as well now we have a professional structure altogether uh, we have our headquarters in dubai that's where yuvraj stays in most of the times i stay in can you stay in delhi delhi we have offices in hong kong shenzhen yeah we have offices in hong kong shenzhen and uh, bombay we are starting stuff so is like in gurgaon we have a big office oh okay so, yeah, yeah yeah and uh, now uh, what kind of projects you are doing and which kind of and which international firms you are working with so basically i mean uh, in the it part we are doing a lot of government tenders we do a lot of you know system integration projects control command centers hardware supplies that's a i would say a back end of my business the main business that we still do is research we have so we started this thing that all of my research collectively i would say in our form we have our associations with somewhere around 128 patents as of now we have products various research projects in terms of healthcare uh, brain computer interfaces agriculture 
and you know all of these technologies so what we do is we now uh, make uh, uh, do research solutions for various corporates and you know various governments and various societies that's what and we do how now. many of these 128 patents which you have currently you have commercialized nearly 69 to 70 and it is earning revenue for your company it is earning revenue for us for our researchers as well we have because the main innovators i would say that we are sort of a uh, not an online but yeah we are sort of a uh, pat- patents aggregator a marketplace wherein we know that what technology we can sell to whom and we have been working with various governments various corporates recently trying to start our operations in kenya now and uh, other than this we also run a private equity we do investments in various startups and all of that and also we are in talks with various big houses in india to do a innovation school in uh, gurgaon so currently and, uh, how, what is your revenue uh, i'm doing well i cannot uh, uh, due to law purposes i cannot put it on uh, media but uh, we're doing really well and uh, that's what we just want to you know so there is a story i will share one more story with you when uh, so i we uh, really wanted to move abroad and go study there because you know it's always everyone's dream that to go to like a university like oxford cambridge mit and you know uh, living a good life there and studying there and uh, after doing a 12 standard we got good offers from various universities one admission counselor from canada she was very you know speaking uh, speaking really a crap things about india being a indian woman she was saying she was being rude to my mother telling her that uh, why can't you uh, uh, you know tell these people to move abroad they have a good future in canada us they don't they, they can't do any stuff in india and all of that i think that was a moment that it really it really hit us hard and we took it as a challenge my brother tore the uh, admission offer in front of her we told her very clearly one thing that uh, for the next 4 years we are also here in india you are going to be at the canada with your students let's see who makes a global company first so i feel that we want to make a global brand out of india in terms of research something like ibm microsoft has been doing all of their lives and uh, i think it is possible and uh, you also give opportunities to school dropouts college dropouts to work with you right yeah we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of uh, you know kids uh, and people texting us up and you know they want to join us they have got interesting projects we have a set background post we see their past projects so still we whenever we hire a researcher we don't see their degrees we don't because even i don't have a degree right now i'm not qualified to be a researcher so i'm just a 12th standard pass out so we we don't see their uh, degrees we don't see their marks but yeah the thing that we see is we see their past projects or the projects that they are working right now if it fits to the current commercial parameters of our company and we hire them and you know and then we have them on board you know do a lot of stuff for us uh, yashras let's close down on this very positive note we are pretty sure that your and yura's story is going to be extremely inspiring for our youngsters thanks Thank for joining